Oh, Larry boy, we need you now to show the way to save the day to save the town. Now from the cave, the tires squeal, and to the rescue comes a cucumber of steel. Oh, Larry boy, oh, boy. we need you here. Oh, yeah. So won't you come and let a super suction in here? Oh, Larry boy, oh, boy. the dynamite. Oh, Fighting what is wrong, standing up for what is right. Cause what the world needs now is a hero, one who's kind and true and brave and bold. If you haven't guessed yet, then it's time you know. Cause what the world needs now is a hero, one who's kind and true and brave and bold. If you haven't guessed yet, then it's time you know. A beautiful day in the city of Bumbleburg. A perfect day for rest and relaxation. Or is it? Ah! It's the cheese breathing cow dragon! Ah! Oh no! What we need is a hero of some sort. Cease your cheesy assault on the good citizens of Bumbleburg. Archie! I've been teased! Uh, don't worry, lady boy. Just activate the radar guided spatula on your utility belt. Wow! I never thought I'd need a radar guided spatula. <laughs> All right, cow dragon. Show me your worst. Move! Just a costume. Herbert and Wally, how could you? Well, we were really hungry. Well, why don't you just eat the cheese instead of shooting it at people? Oh, man. We should have thought of that. Thanks for your help, Larry boy. Glad to be of service. And remember, God wants us to be nice to people. So, once again, Larry Boy has saved the day! But what's this? A secret hidden camera? Could it be that these proceedings were being observed by some villainous proprietor of madness? Just you wait, Larry Boy. Soon I will rule Bumblebird. Me, Awful Alvin! <laughs> Oh, and my dastardly henchman, Lampy. <laughs> now we shall do the villainous dance of villainy to signify the imminent performance of our villainous duties. <laughs> Dance with me, Lampy! Later that day, the staff of the Daily Bumble meets in editor Bob the Tomato's office to discuss the headline for tomorrow's paper. I, I think the lead story should be Larry Boy defeating the Cow Dragon. Yeah! That's a great idea! I don't know, Vicky. We've put Larry Boy on the front page a lot lately. Does anyone have any other ideas? I got one. It's about a local inventor and a new invention. Wow! What does it do? Why, honey, the Knitmaster 3000 is a wonder. It recycles the hair that collects in your bathtub drain. Ooh. Ooh. Junior, we can't 
I put this on the front page? Why not? Because most of the citizens of Bumbleburg never get any hair in their drains. Because most of them don't have any hair. Besides, it's kind of icky. Okay, we'll go with the Larry Boy story. Yay! Larry, get back to your cleaning. I don't know what it is about that Larry Boy, but he really reminds me of someone. I just can't figure out who. What's that beeping? Nothing. Um, I just remembered. I gotta go janitorize something. This is Larry. Come in, Archie. Uh, greetings, Master Laddie. Archie, I'm tired of being a janitor. I'm a millionaire superhero, for Pete's sake. Uh, Master Laddie, we've been over this. Working at the Daily Bumble helps keep your finger on the pulse of Bumbleberg. Well, yeah, but why janitor? Well, it was the only job you were qualified for. Oh. That's the spirit. Now, I call to remind you that tonight is the night of your superhero class at the Bumbleberg Community College. You don't want to be late again. Oh, you're right. I better get going. You know, you could take the secret pneumatic leddy tube to the leddy cave. No, no, I mean, that's okay. A nice walk would do me some good. Well, sure he doesn't fix it, young man. I can have my butler. Um, this guy I know can fix it. He's really good at fixing stuff. He'll fix it good as new. Darling, let me tell you something. There better not be a scratch on it. Or else! Looks like I'm gonna be late for superhero class again. Now, Lampy, it is time to exact my awful plan on Larry Boy. And his precious bumbly bug. <laughs> You're not laughing. Perhaps this is because you do not fully understand my awful plan. Watch, and I will show you with my angry eyebrows. If someone holds on to their anger, Refusing to let go of it, my eyebrows can attach to their forehead. And once they do, that someone will be doomed to hold on to their anger forever! <laughs> Fly, my bushy minions! Fly and seek out anger! <laughs> By the time Larry took the Knitmaster to Archibald for repairs, he was running very late for Bok Choi's superhero class. Superheroes should not hold on to their anger. Sorry. Larry boy, this is the fourth time you've been late. Uh, but as you can see, I'm letting go of my anger. Take your seat, please. I'm Larry Boy, from Bumbleburg. I'm in the Scarlet Tomato, from a Pugsleyville. The Scarlet Tomato? Isn't that, um, redundant? What do you mean? Well, Scarlet, Tomato, Red, Tomato. Most tomatoes are red. It's redundant. Now the Green Hornet, that works. You see, cause, well, most hornets aren't green. I am not a hornet. Once I was captured by the ninja gang, and they were going to spritz me with a light olive oil dressing. Not my favorite. Did I hold on to my anger? No. Uh, got any superpowers? Oh, yeah. I got a, I got a two great ones. I can fly, and I can defy gravity. Isn't that redundant? What? Any questions? But Bach! Sometimes Electro Melon gets real angry. We all do. It is not wrong to get angry, Electro Melon, but you should not hold on to your anger. 
you have to let it go. But Electromelon become Electromelon when angry. <laughs> no, Electromelon must let go of his anger. Okay, Electromelon try what Bok Choy says. <sighs> Thanks. Hog time. This guideline is in section 49, chapter 4, line 26 of the superhero handbook. It is written, do not let the sun go down on your anger. Be warned, young ones. If you hold on to your anger, your anger will hold on to you. The next morning is a beautiful new day in Bumbleburg. But some of the citizens don't even notice, for they've spent the night stewing in their anger. Oh, what a frightful night. I couldn't stop thinking about that crazy cucumber that broke my invention. Perfectly. Here, Lampy, you want to look? Bob, I just got a hot tip. My sources say people are committing random acts of angriness all over the city. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, that's terrible. Unless you're an editor that needs a good front page story. Oh, Larry, what's that thing doing back here? Oh, well, I had it fixed, so I need to call Mom Mushroom and have her come pick it up. You can't keep it here. It's in the way. Oh, we've got work to do. Ah, oh, peanut brittle. Lampy, come on. This should be safe here. No one ever comes up here. Oh, hi, Lampy. Lampy. That must mean I gotta talk to Archibald. And according to my source, everyone committing these acts of angriness has big, black, angry eyebrows. You mean, like those? <laughs> Where is that cucumber janitor? Oh, there he is. Destroying my knit master? No, wait, it's all fixed. Wait, help, help! Where'd that cucumber go? He went in there. Hey! You let me out of here before I start getting angry! This eyebrow thing is worse than I thought. There's that beeping again. It's driving me nuts. Um, that's my tea in the microwave. I'll get it. Master Larry! Bumbly Burk needs Larry Boy's help. Citizens all over town are hanging on to their anger. And as we both know, God wants us to let go of our anger. I heard. And I have something else to tell you. I saw a lampy. Lampy? You mean awful Alvin's sidekick? Oh, then Alvin must be behind all those angry eyebrows. All right, I'll hop back to the mansion and change to Larry Boy. There's no time. You have to use the secret pneumatic Larry tube. Oh, all right. I do this because I am that hero! It seems that the eyebrows... 
browser what's making everyone mad. Uh, so I've added a new anti-eyebrow attachment to your utility belt. I really hate that tube. And so Larry Boy rushed to try and remove the eyebrows that were causing all the anger. Citizens of Bumbleburg, I've come to remove your angry eyebrows. Who wants to go first? Leave us alone. Well, Bessie's being angry. This will only take a sec. Okay, I wanted to do this the easy way, but I can see I'm gonna have to play her up. Anti-eyebrow stingy, activate. You incompetent cucumber! Awful Alvin. And Lampy! Hi, Lampy. Don't speak all friendly like to Lampy. He's devoted only to me and despises all friendliness. You'll never remove my angry eyebrows with your useless gadgets. As long as the citizens of Bumbleburg hold on to their anger, my angry eyebrows stay put. <laughs> you are finished, Larry boy. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared of that, though. Stick my angry eyebrows to you, just like everyone else. And you too will be stuck to your anger. But I'm not holding on to anger. Oh, really? Not even a little? Nope. Well, uh, would you hold on to your anger if I stuffed this popsicle down the back of your super suit? Oh, oh, woo -hoo -hoo. that's cold. Oh, would you hold on to your anger if I blew this trumpet in your ear? Well, that was pretty annoying, but I'll let the anger go. Or what if I had my angry eyebrows fill your Larry Mobile with chocolate syrup? Hey, that's gonna ruin the leather. Oh, I don't know if I'll ever let that one go. <laughs> now I have defeated even Larry Boy. My revenge is complete. Larry Boy held captive by his own anger. Huh? If you hold on to your anger, your anger will hold on to you. To you. God wants us to let go of our anger. Must let go of anger. I need to release you. Alvin, sometimes you do really bad things that make me really, really mad. But if I hold on to my anger, it'll only make me do things that I know I shouldn't do. So, I'm not gonna stay mad at you. What? You, you can't do that! Hey, look what Larry Boy did. He let go of his anger, and look how happy he looks. Larry Boy's right. I wouldn't be squirting mustard on Bob if I weren't holding on to my anger. Yeah, but sure I get mad sometimes, but I need to learn to let it go. your progress. Looks like you've been defeated by the forces of good once again, Awful Alvin. You may have ruined my awful plan, but I can still command my angry eyebrows to destroy Larry Boy! What? Hey, I'm Larry Boy. Attack, my precious eyebrows! Attack, Larry Boy! Oh, 
Okay, angry eyebrows. Come and get me. Matty boy, what are you doing? Don't worry, Archibald. I have a plan. You? Taro, Taro! Wale! Taro, Wale! Enough of this foolish fooling around. Finish him off, my furious furry f uh, eyebrows! Toro! Toro! My beautiful eyebrows! Larry boy, you did this! I know. I'll get you for this. I'll always be angry about this one! No! Not me! Not me! <laughs> hmm. The nightcap must still be attracted to anger. And so, with awful Alvin defeated by Bumbleberg's own Larry Boy, the citizens have been released from their angry eyebrows. Well, all but one. Couldn't we just leave her in there? I am so angry. When I get through with you, you're gonna wish you never fell the line! I had your invention fixed, just like I promised. You did? Yeah, but you still broke it, so I'm gonna... We're doing What's this? It's a medal. The mayor awarded you this medal for inventing the Knitmaster 3000. Which helped Larry Boy save the city. You're a hero! A hero? Why, little old me? A hero! Once again, everything in Bumbleberg returned to normal, thanks to the Cucumber of Steel! That's me.
Peanut brittle. 